laxatives a fat man's best friend have you got any interesting um stories of eating a laxative i wonder what happens when you eat a laxative you ask well it opens the gateways to heaven and all thunder falls down jesus christ have i ever taken one no i actually haven't but i had a um, my uh, friends a few of my friends <laughs> in high school so when we were kids uh once put one in my mates um i can't remember if they gave him it unwillingly or they gave him it and he was like, yeah, go on then, in school. And, well, he took it at lunchtime and then we never saw him for the rest of the day. It tells you all you need to know, doesn't it? But if you don't know what laxative basically does, it makes you shit your insides out. But what I'm about to explain, show, demonstrate to you is quite possibly a great little revenge or certainly quite a big smart clever thing to do so someone uh, at this lady's work was stealing and uh, eating their lunch now there's many things that are despicable humans can do but i think this is the worst imagine going to work you know you you don't want to be there probably unless you know you're joe biden and your work your job entails sleeping on a beach that'd be pretty fucking sweet you know you go to eat you don't want to be there you come around oh thank god it's lunch i can eat my ham and cheese sandwich that i don't even want to eat and then audacity of someone to eat it steal it take it and nom 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 i mean terrible god awful sh so yeah, I would want revenge too. So this lady here put laxative in the lunch to see who kept eating the food. And well, of course we found the answer. I, I mean, it, it is incredible. I have to give my hats off to her. This is, you know, Sherlock Holmes level investigatory skills. This has really opened my eyes as to what we can achieve as human beings. There was a spider on my wall and it has really long legs. Now, imagine working night shift, 12 hours, feet hurting, hungry. And every time you fucking get here, your food is gone. Ain't no fucking food of yours in the fridge. Food just be vanishing like it's a food fairy in here. So as she demonstrated, uh, she leaves her food. She does night shifts as well. I've done night shifts in the past. Rough, uh, rough. So not only are you not getting that vitamin D, so you're ill all the time, you are also <laughs> having to put with donkeys who steal your food. I mean, if you've ever worked night shifts, you know the people on night shifts, they can be a bit loony. Some of them have done it for 30 years and not done anything else, and they're just nutters. You know, they, they inhale a vape, like, and, you know, it's half of it's gone. Um, they smoke more cigarettes than, you know, you have glasses of water. And yet, you know, you're trying to just do your job, blah, blah, blah. You put your food in the fridge, safe space, you know what I mean? Everyone knows if it's not yours in the fridge, don't fucking touch it, mate. Don't touch it, otherwise you get a black eye and a good night. So this lady had enough. So would I, to be fair. I mean, Alex is pretty good. I'd probably just put some rat poisoning in it, you know what I mean? Oh, you're dead. You can't, you could, because in court you could be like, well, I was trying to kill myself. She stole my food. Not my fault, bro. Not my fault. It's on them. Tonight, I put laxatives in that shit. So I'm going to be watching that bathroom all night. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned, motherfuckers. We in for a good episode of TV tonight. Welcome to Laxatives in Our Food. Who today is eating my food and who is going to be sat on the toilet for most of their shift. Stay tuned and let's find out. Now I've been watching her for the... You have the criminal there. I mean, talk about justice, revenge. Batman would be proud at this level of justice. I mean, my gosh. You, you, I have to give it to her. Although some might say it's a step too far, I think it's a step not far enough. I think, you know, she should continue just to put laxatives in this girl's food whenever she can. Um, maybe they should, you know, put it in all food and then whatever she eats, she ends up in the shitter anyway. Just a few thoughts, just a few um, theories. It's kind of clock to me. I'm talking about a girl drugging people on laxative, but they stole her food. You know what I mean? Someone stealing your food, that's a low. That's a low blow. You know what I mean? Especially in America. Because <laughs> you're all obese. I don't know why I said that. The past six hours, she's the only person been going in and out that damn bathroom. Now she all bent over. She got to go home because her stomach fucked up. Now you can call me petty or whatever, but I bet she won't touch nobody else's food in that fridge. Better go home and get some Imodium. Now I can enjoy my lunch that I had to hide behind it. So hopefully when I bring my food in here again, nobody takes it upon themselves to touch somebody else's stuff. Now, I couldn't agree more. Well done to this woman. She has done her justice. Not, if you think about it, not only has she saved herself, she has saved people, future people, from having future problems with this serial lunch nabber. Justice, revenge. You know, some people call it revenge. Revenge is a fool's game. I call it justice. Some people deserve the right hand of the law. 
Sometimes that comes in the form of jail time. Sometimes that comes, it used to come in the form of the electric chair. The least we can do is make someone sit on the toilet for 12 hours because they keep stealing your ham and cheese sandwich with your hula hoops. I mean, hats off to this woman. Um, have you got any good laxative stories? They must be really um, shit. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Have you got any good, you know, stories? Did you actually get take one and then, you know, shit yourself on the way to work or something? I've never taken one. Um, I usually find a cup of coffee does a similar, uh, has a similar effect. So, hey-ho, here you go. Let me know what you thought.